welcome to this week's video. I hope everyone's doing well and getting cozy and ready for winter, at least those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope spring's going well. Um, and as you can see from the title, I decided to make a mood board for the Korea trip that I want to take next year hopefully fingers crossed um i can save enough money um to do that but i still wanted to make this video anyway so we're just gonna do it right so in terms of aesthetic i kind of took to the internet had a look at what mood boards are floating around and the different aesthetics and whatnot and kind of got inspired from there. I actually found one that I really enjoyed and based myself on that. So I just changed images here and there, added things I liked, and thought fit with the theme and yeah i'll be coming in and out of voiceover i hope you enjoy the video and i will speak to you later on Right, so on the mood board I was looking at while making this, um, there were some flowers like on one of the bottom layers um, of the mood board and I liked the idea of having some flowers there but I didn't like the ones that were used. So given that East Asia has a lot of cherry blossoms and that's kind of their thing, um, I thought why not? Let's put some cherry blossoms there um, and fill in that gap that way. But I didn't want to put another image. Um, so I looked for a nice graphic of some cherry blossoms and copied over them. I'm not very good at drawing um, flowers in general. So I just went the easy route and copied these. But now that I'm editing this, the color of like pink that I used, that I took from one of the images is bugging me. <laughs> so I might have to go back and edit um, the color a bit. So it's a bit more pink and less of a brown. Um, like it's still pink, it's just very muted to the point it looks brown. So I might have to go and tweak that. Um, but it'll have to do for now. Also, I'm well aware that given that my trip will be in the summertime, I will not see any cherry blossoms. I'm well aware of that. However, cherry blossoms are very aesthetic and given that they're so common in East Asia, I needed to add some cherry blossoms. I'm sorry. They had to be there, so they're there. On another note, um, I didn't know what else to add on this side of the canvas, so I thought I would just add a map. I didn't like the colour of the map I found, 
so I traced over it plus I gave it a bit of texture with the brush I was using but yeah me being a perfectionist and not wanting to use the exact same image here we are <laughs> but I think it looks good with the grey grey blue that I used from the roofs of the um Hanok houses um from the other image for those of you that don't know Hanok houses are the Korean traditional um house almost finished by this point but I really wanted to add some hangul um, to it some Korean to it um, and I didn't really know what to write so in this little square here that I put that I was originally gonna put something in English I thought let's just put Korea in Korean very original no, not at all, but hey, here we are. <laughs> then um, I thought, come on, Natalia, you're learning Korean. You need to put a little bit more effort into it. Let's just not stick with something you can Google. Let's write something else. So I thought, because it's a mood board for me to visualize the trip, for me to, in a way, manifest it. Um, I thought I would just put a nice, like, motivational sentence um, at the side, and I wrote, "Hal suiso." So this sentence means, "We can do this. I can do this." Um, so that's in line with, like, keeping my motivation to um, keep saving up to be able to go there. So yeah. This is the end product, I'm really happy with it, though I might have to, as I said earlier, edit that um, cherry blossom colour. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you like my content remember to subscribe and like down below, let me know that you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next week with another one. Bye!